being black at the bank. For you to assume that black people can't have money. This singer went to deposit a $30,000 check, but was stunned when the teller instead called police. Are black people with money becoming targets? I'm Justin Carter. This is TSR Investigates. Thirty million people on TikTok watched the singer Baby Storm hysterically crying in the car last week. She says that her dad wrote her a thirty thousand dollar check to help her pay for rent for the entire year. She then says she took that check to a city bank location on Sunset Boulevard in Los Angeles. She then says that she was immediately denied and then some. Police were called, doors were allegedly locked, and she believes this was all because the way she looks. My worst fear like actually my worst fear. Alternative rock singer Baby Storm says that worst nightmare came true last Tuesday. She need to keep the check for further investigation to see where it came from. Okay, well she just told me that she that she does not confiscate checks. It happened at the city bank on the infamous Sunset Boulevard. A bank teller allegedly took Storm's check, refused to deposit it into her bank account, and told her it had to be verified. She says neither the teller nor the manager would give the check back. I said, do you confiscate the checks of everyone who comes in here? She said no. I said, so why did you confiscate mine? Yeah, because the back office need to investigate more on that check. Okay, but if that's the case, then why don't you confiscate the checks of everyone else who comes in here? You don't want to cash the check because it's a $30,000 check no, and I'm black no. and you're telling me you can't no. verify it. She says they stopped her from leaving the bank and called police, all because she started recording. Now they're locking me in the bank. They didn't lock you in the bank. Yeah, you're, no. you're locking me. If, if it's closed, okay. Thank you very much. So that door, that door is unlocked? No. So that door is unlocked? Down, so no okay, so okay, so no problem. So that door is unlocked. All of them is unlocked. Okay, no problem. But you have to wait here until police came. She says the teller then told security to get her car description. I was practically in there begging her to call my father so that he could give her whatever information you know she needed, and she refused. They told me that I wasn't allowed to leave until the cops came, but then a few seconds later they said, okay, you can go. She immediately went to TikTok and shared what happened to her 1.1 million followers. But to think that like, I can't pay my rent right now because of racist who work at Citibank. <laughs> Guess who's suing Citibank? Why do you, why do you think that they treated you this way? A hundred percent because of, you know, what I look like. I'm black, you know, I definitely have like more of an alternative appearance, the piercings, everything. Um, I guess they felt like that gave them a right to discriminate against me. A former bank teller on TikTok even coming to her defense. We would easily be able to pull up the account number and account information with the routing and account number on the check to be able to see if that money was in the account. If she is a Citibank customer, they can deposit the check and put a hold on it. We also looked through Citibank's employee code of conduct. It says that, quote, City is committed to dealing fairly with its clients, suppliers, distributors, competitors, and employees. No person acting on behalf of City may take unfair advantage of anyone through manipulation, concealment, abuse of confidential information, misrepresentation of material facts, or other unfair dealings or practices. I have my ID, my passport, the check, the envelope in which the check was mailed in, and it still was not enough. We did ask Citibank about their check and training procedures. A spokesperson did tell us that they would look into it for us, but we have not yet heard back. But Baby Storm's case is a reminder of even what happened to the famed Black Panther director, Ryan Coogler, at a Bank of America location in Atlanta back in January. Yeah, but that's not, that's not how I do my job. You got weapons on you, buddy? I got nothing on me, bro. Okay. You can, you can do what you got to do. All right, have a seat in there for me. Kugler says that he passed a bank teller a note asking her to be discreet with his transaction. But police were called anyway. He was detained for a short period. I don't feel safe getting money out like that. So every time I go to withdraw it, you know, I, I, put, that, I put the amount, the account I want to take and all that. Gotcha. And I put my own card in. And then I, and then I usually take, I mean, I, I always just, just get, the, get the money from it. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Uh, I, I, I don't, 
understand so you you make on. you make well that's like I said that's the reason why we're out here and that's the reason why we detained everybody because we didn't know exactly what was going on and I told my manager I said I don't feel comfortable about this transaction he handed me a note and told me just look at the note and he wants 12,000 and then so he was like okay give me one moment he was like let's go around and um talk to him and I said no I'm pregnant like I don't know if he got mm -hmm. a gun or whatever mm -hmm. like and when I did talk to him, he keep pointing at the note. So I'm like, no. So I stood right here and called 911. In a statement, Bank of America did say that they, quote, deeply regret that this incident occurred and never should have happened. And we apologize to Mr. Kugler. Now, in the past, black Americans have sued banks for racial discrimination. According to ABC News, back in 2020, Santor Thomas filed a lawsuit against a TCF bank in Livonia, Michigan, for refusing to accept his checks, claiming that they were fraudulent. They were not fraudulent. Ten minutes later, Livonia police walk in. And they say, hey, sir, could we talk to you? And I say, and I was like shocked. I'm like, who, me? Because I'm black. This is happening. I said, if I was white, this wouldn't be happening. The checks were from a settlement with his former employer, one for $59,000, one for $27,000, and one for $13,000. I mean, call the bank that issued the check. You're a bank. Isn't that what you're there to do? Something else was afoot here. And in my opinion, there's only one thing, banking while black. Thomas's attorney says that they went to another bank and were able to clear those checks. No problem. But that same year, the New York Times reported that there's been some major challenges with black people winning discrimination cases against banks. There's a loophole in the Civil Rights Act of 1964. The law, it lists specific businesses that must not treat black customers differently, like movie theaters, hotels, restaurants, and sports venues. Banks, however, are not on that list. You can't control what these tellers are going to do, especially as a black person. Baby Storm says that she will be filing a lawsuit against Citibank anyway. You know, what they did to me, it is it's unacceptable. It shouldn't have been done to anyone. And to be honest, I've even if I wasn't, you know, going to press charges for myself, I feel like I have a moral responsibility to do it for everyone else who has been in my situation. And that's a lot of people. Now, the Shade Room did receive a statement from Citibank. It says in part, quote, that we have spoken with Janice Moffis, which is Baby Storm's real name, and are now working closely with her to resolve the issue in question. We're taking this matter seriously and have launched a thorough investigation into what transpired on Tuesday. Baby Storm says that her family makes an honest living. Her dad is from Nigeria. He's a self-made entrepreneur, successful. Her mom is also in the medical field. Now she says that she now plans to, to start a nonprofit organization. She wants to help people that have gone through similar experiences with maybe some legal help and support in the future. For TSR Investigates, I'm Justin Carter. Hello roommates and thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Do you want more TSR Investigates? Be sure to subscribe and check us out at theshaderoom.com.